Welcome to one of the best ankle exams you will find on the internet. We will start off with inspection of the ankle and the foot. We are looking for signs of ecchymosis, tenting, open fracture, erythema, any sort of pes cavus or pes planus. When you're looking from behind, you're looking at the too many toes sign. Also, we're looking for any sort of muscle atrophy, calluses, warts, bunions, you name it. Now we'll be moving on to palpation. We start off with the tibia. We palpate all the way down towards the medial malleolus. From the medial malleolus right behind is the flexor hallucis longus, the flexor digitorum longus, and the tibialis posterior tendon. Then we go on to the Achilles tendon for any sort of point tenderness. We move down from the Achilles tendon to the retrocalcaneal bursa. Next is the navicular bone. Then we move on to the lateral side where there's the anterior talofibular ligament, the calcaneofibular ligament, and the posterior talofibular ligament. Then nearby is the base of the fifth metatarsal, which is also part of the Ottawa ankle rules. And then for chronic instability and pain, you can take the Taller dome for an osteochondral defect. We will move on to the metatarsals. We will palpate each one individually and in between as well. Then the phalanges, once again, one after the other, looking for any signs of fractures. At the heel, we will find heel pad syndrome at this area. Moving more medially, we'll get to where plantar fasciitis is most common. And above here is where there's two small bones for sesamoiditis. Next is for range of motion. You'd want to do active range of motion first. And if there's any difficulties, you'd do passive. So as you see here, we did plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, eversion, and inversion. We're going to do the same thing now with resistance. This is testing neuromuscular. Now moving on to special tests. The first one that we will do is anterior drawer test. This mostly is done after acute inflammation has subsided. Another test you can do is the Taylor tilt test. Here you plantar flex the feet and you t invert. And this is testing for the ATL and the calcaneofibular ligament. Next is we're going to test for a high ankle sprain. The first test is the squeeze test. Pain should be exactly where it's being pointed at. Next is called the Kliger's test or the external rotation test. Similarly, the point will be at the syndesmotic joint. Finally, the third test for a high ankle sprain is the cross-legged test. Here, the patient crosses his legs, and the pain should be felt once again at the syndesmotic joint. That is the calcaneal squeeze test for calcaneal fractures. This is the Mulder sign for Morton's neuroma. The Liz Frank joint is the joint between the metatarsal and the navicular. With this test, you can also check for metatarsalgia. Next is the peroneal subluxation test for the peroneal tendon. And so if we dorsiflex the foot and externally rotate it and at the same time palpate behind the fibular head, you can hear a click, you feel pain, or any subluxation. This is the Thompson test. This is checking for Achilles rupture. This is where the tibialis posterior nerve is, and so we would be doing the tinnel sign, where you just tap, just like that, and that would be finding the tarsal tunnel syndrome. Dr. Jeff MD here. Dr. Andy Chatterjee. I hope you enjoyed our video. I have a passion for sports medicine, so I put all my heart into these videos. So I hope you like them. Subscribe as much as you can and share it with your friends. We'll see much, much more. We'll see you later.